Hi there people, just sort of an um, unboxing of um, a little toy I got today, and it is, what do I have to do with one hand? Okay. This little contraption here is the SD to IEC adapter, which lets me play Commodore 64 disk images and I think tape images as well and program images. So I don't have to damage my disks anymore. So um, I'm going to give this a go. So me filming this is actually going to be the first time I'm actually going to be using it. So um, let's give this a burl. Okay, here's the files I've chucked on the memory card in the root directory. It's a D64 file, so I don't know if that's going to work. So hopefully this will work. Okay. Let's see. This is loading. Green light is on, so that means it's working. And here we go and wait. So I'll just stop this video for now. And um, I'll resume once it's finished loading. Okay, thanks for Steve Benway for giving me a hand. So um, this looks like it's going to work. It's, I just can't believe how dumb I am. I should have realized what I was doing wrong. So that looks correct now. I just put the wrong file in there. So let's see if I've got this right. Okay, so far so good. And there we go. This looks like it's going to work. So I've got my trusty Mega Drive controller here. Now which button is it? It's loading. Okay, this looks so cool. Hopefully this works. Okay. Kennebolt, which is a Commodore 64 conversion of a popular uh, mobile phone game. It was on the iPhone and Android. So this looks like it might take a while to load. So anyway, I'll we'll get back to it. Well there, you, well, there you go. It worked. Man, you gotta love the Commodore 64, no bull. I mean... It's so old, and they've gotten a game like this to run on it. I mean, look how awesome this is. It's exactly like the mobile game. Oh, game over. Alright, let me try another game then. Okay, I'm back to the main menu again. So, what can we try now? Hmm... Try Prince of Persia. That was a, this is one another new game that actually came out on it that was just got developed. And my camera's going out of focus, and I don't know why. Oh no, this is a cartridge image. I don't know if this is going to work, but we shall see. Okay, well that last image didn't work. It's because it was a cartridge image. It wasn't my fault because the actual extension was a D sixty four. So. What can we do now? Yeah, let's go for good old bomb jack. And it's loading. Let's hope this is successful, huh? Well, as you can see, it's loading. I've got the green light. 
Which is weird, because I saw other videos on YouTube, when it's loading, it actually shows a red light, so I don't know why mine is green, but who cares, it works. So it pretty much plugs into where the disk drive is supposed to go, and gets its power from the tape drive port, so that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, my flash cartridge doesn't make it run faster, so I've had to disable that. It looks like it's loaded. So, yeah, I mean... Fingers crossed, I think it should be all cool now. And now, yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, I just want to start the game. Let's go for a high school. And restart. Here we go. Don't you just love that music? How awesome is this? Now, this is going to be hard with one hand. I don't think I can even play it. I'm using my mouth to press the button, so... Oh, I just got bombed. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's not as entertaining as my other videos, but I just wanted to get out there that there are some really cool stuff you can do with the Commodore 64 still. And thanks, and this extra special thanks to Steve Benway for um, giving me a heads up on this thing because I wouldn't have known about this little adapter. So, um, yeah, and helping me out as well for getting this thing to work. So, thanks, Steve. Thanks for everybody's support, and uh, take it easy.